Hey, we are live now. Uh -oh. I am DJ Nash. I am the creator and executive producer of A Million Little Things, which has its finale tonight, right after this, on ABC. I am joined by Allison Miller. Hi! Allison. So nice to be here. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Um, so, Allison, uh, let's do it like I'm the host and you're the guest. Yes, cool. It'll be cool. great. Then we have yeah. questions. Are you going to come in? I love yeah. it. Uh, so, please welcome my first guest. You may know her from. Uh, what was oh, a million little things? Yes, uh, Allison Miller. Oh my gosh. Yes, thanks. Oh, well, oh yeah, thank yeah. There's no applause. Oh, no, no, I'm here. So we have taken some of the questions they've asked, and I put them on cards, and I'll ask them, and then maybe I'll answer some. You answer, you, yeah, you answer you most should. of them. This was no question. I just love the show. Hey, thanks. That's very nice. Me too. I love it too. <laughs> I do enjoy it. That's really fortunate. What actually that is a good question, which leads to this next question, okay. which is. Uh, when you read the pilot, mm -hmm. what was the scene that made you say, I want to play Maggie? Uh, I would say the scene that made me want to play Maggie was um, the actually the breast cancer support group scene. Um, the way that she was talking about um, her life and her experience and uh, the fear that she was carrying around and then the sort of meet cute of it all. I... I really loved it, and also, man, I also really loved the JFK speech, because it felt so uh, on point, and it felt like, oh, I fully understand the speech, I would like to be the person who's delivering it, and then I got to do that, so thank you. Do you know the backstory of that speech? Um... I'm, that was I'm, not written for the show. I wrote it, I lost a friend, as you know. Yeah. And so when I was trying to figure out how he could have taken such a different path, um, that's, I thought of John John. Yeah. Did so you just write it out? I just wrote it, like, uh, going to his funeral. It was just like something I journaled to think of, like, oh. uh, yeah. And so when I was thinking of the show, I thought there needs to be someone in the show who can be our way into the show. Yeah. And Allison is our way into the show. Mm-hmm. Maggie. Maggie. Oh, Maggie. I'm sorry. I, I got lost. I did. I, I told my mom does that. That's, yeah, that's yeah. what my mom does. Oh, what, what's that? Is that your... This is my Twitter. Allison E. <laughs> Miller. The E stands for... Excellence. Oh, <laughs> excellence. I love that. Okay, great. I should do this one then. The hey, DJ Nash. Yeah. And the hey stands for... For hey. 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 And the DJ stands for. I bet you there are people who've known me all along. Don't judge. <laughs> That's what it is from now on. <laughs> Don't judge. Okay. That's I the message to myself. <laughs> uh, okay. So um, that was the question of the scene. And what was your favorite scene to shoot this season? I mean, honestly, the basketball scene. Oh, okay. Because we spent all day doing yeah. it and we just played basketball all day. That's amazing. And it was fun also because uh, Griff, our director for that episode, had his two kids on set. Okay. And so you just heard a child yelling action and we were playing. <laughs> That's amazing. It was really fun. I love it. I love yeah. it. Um, uh, so the one question they asked is, there's so many, are there as many clues in the show as people think? Yeah, and I think I'm missing about half of them because I went back and watched an episode and I can't even talk about it yet because this last one hasn't aired yet, but I was watching it. It airs tonight went, at 9 o'clock. Oh, it's on ABC. On ABC. Uh, right after Grey's Anatomy, <laughs> yes, which is in its 700th year. It's, it's a record-breaking episode for them tonight. Congratulations. Oh, congrats. We won't Ellen be doing Pompeo. That. Yes, yes. Um, I... Uh, what were we talking we were about? Talking oh, about yeah. Clues. Yeah, there were, there was a clue that I read in this script for this last episode, and then watched an episode from before. I don't know which one it was, and I was in my living room and went, "Oh, geez, that changes the whole scene." So, way to I, go. Uh, the whole season, I talked to the actors and we said, "You were only going to know what your characters would know." Mm -hmm. So some of the characters knew more. For instance, Ron, who played John, knew a lot more. Yeah. Um, uh, Christina. I Ocho, eavesdropped yes. on him asking questions to a writer one time yes. because yes. I just was like, well, he's going to get the answer. <laughs> <laughs> he's get the exactly right. Um, red toboggan, chocolate milk, and chandelier. Those are some clues that may be relevant second season. They're not. They're not. But let's just say that. Okay. Barbara <laughs> Morgan. Are we going to find out who Barbara Morgan is tonight? Yeah. Yes, you are. Ah. Yes, you are. Yep. It's okay. real. It's real. Okay, so where can we find the song that Eddie wrote? Where can you find it? Yes. Probably on the internet. On the internet. It's going to be an album that we're releasing. Oh, yeah. Yes. Are we really doing that? We are really doing that, and I think it comes out this week. 
Great. So it's all those songs that people loved on the show. Is mine on there? I hope it is. I asked them to put it on there. So People keep no asking listens. me. I'm not asking for money. In episode okay. 7, at the end of the episode, as Maggie's looking in the mirror at the bruises and looking back at her life and is she making the right choice, there's a song, um, I'm Still Standing, which is the song they sang in karaoke at the, at the noodle shop, but then is a beautiful rendition, a cover sung just by a woman, and that woman is Allison E. Miller. <laughs> At, yes. At Allison E. Miller. And that's, that's it. it. Yes. All right. Yeah, thanks yes. for that's letting it. me that's it. do that song. Uh, a lot of people wonder if tonight's your last episode. You tell me, man. Mm. Mm. Um, no spoilers. Yeah. No spoilers. Makes but you have brought such humanity to the subject of uh, cancer. And I know there's so many people who have, as recently as today, tweeted and, and talked about how important that character is for them. So you it's really beautiful i will tell you when i get up in the morning and look at the first cut to start editing i am usually exhausted and wondering why am i doing all this and then i see your performance and i go that's exactly why you're amazing i know i lost my aunt who maggie's based on to cancer Mm -hmm. and uh i just i wish she could see it it's really beautiful okay back in here we go um allison any special plans during the break Ooh, special plans um (laughs) what are you doing i'm going to direct a short Really? Yep. Okay. Um, and, what's the t- What's the subject? Um, well, Michelle read it. Okay. <laughs> it's about um, chronic pain and um, and the, the internet. Basically. Did you write it? Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. I would love to read it. I'll send it to you. All right. That's, I'm pitching my stuff. That's out. it. That's, I want to see it. Okay. I'll send it to you. Yes. Um, Can ABC yeah. get you all out to Boston? <laughs> Yeah, I don't Let's know. Let's do that. That would be really cool. I go there often because I'm from Boston. That's oh, why yeah. the show takes place. Have you been to Boston? Many times. Yeah, it's just incredible, right? I'm a big fan. It's a huge, yeah. It's I a, was it's... enrolled at BU for a brief moment. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Is there a backstory? I got into BU and nowhere else. Okay. And I was a painting major there and I got up there. Are you Barbara Morgan? And I'm Barbara Morgan. <laughs> <laughs> that's the backstory. Yes, yes. <laughs> Um, but that's the, and, and you were painting major for a brief moment. And yeah, and then said, I was like, what am I doing? Painters can't have a career. What is this? And so I left and became an actor, because that's <laughs> lucrative. Too. Well, that's great for this next question. What was your reaction when you got the part? Oh. How did you find out? Uh, Can I you, tell the story? You called me. Can I tell the story of that or no? Sure. Go so, for it. so Allison came in. She's one of the first people to read, and I thought she was amazing. I loved it. I really did. You told and, me that in the room, and I was like, "Wow, I got this job." <laughs> <laughs> and then time passed because we were trying to find a Gary. Because uh, Gary was, in my mind, the hardest character to get. You had to have someone who could do the the comedy and yet yeah. um, play that emotion. And um, then we found Rodé, and I thought, "No, nah, I don't buy the two of them together." Yeah. <laughs> He's no, too old. He's too old. That's what it was. I totally... We didn't even try the two of them together. We thought, <laughs> that guy's too old. Because we're too and old. then your agent called me the morning we were testing all of our Allison's. Also his agent. Yes. All it was also, yes, yes, See, yes. this is how... So he, I... he called me and said, you got to test her. you got to test her. And I said, oh, you know what? Let's do it. And you... There was someone who I really thought was going to get it, and she had an amazing audition, and then you came in, and you just... You know, you stole it. I've been the person who... It was in the other position enough oh, times sure. to really, really appreciate being this person right now. Well, what I loved about Thank your you. uh, audition was when you got to the part in the group, the scene you're referring to, mm-hmm. the, in the breast cancer support group where you're talking about what the year was like for you, mm-hmm. You it, it's sort of written to play for the joke of having to say such personal things in front of a man, mm-hmm. but before you even got to that part of it, which you turned beautifully, you just the vulnerability uh, and just the backstory, you put so much into it. it. It's, to me, when I'm watching you in those 5.30 in the morning cuts, when I see that, I, I, I'm, it's everything we put on the page, but then there's so much more that we didn't, and it's just, it's really beautiful. Thank it's you. really beautiful. It just has been an incredible season with you. Thank you. Um, okay. Uh, we did this. We did, there's, all, there's maybe more questions. What yeah. other questions could we ask? What other, are there, um, what other things? I don't know. What other things? We should say that it's 9 o'clock tonight. It's, it's, on, ABC. Tonight. it's on ABC. It's on ABC. Yes, and uh, what, what, what more questions do you think people have? I can't see the screen, so it's hard to... I'm going to predict the questions that people might have. 
um, which is uh, in prep, uh, preparing for the role. Did you talk to people who are survivors yeah. and struggling to beat cancer? I did. I talked to um, a few people. I can call some of them out by name, but not others because I want to protect people's privacy. Sure. But um, a friend of mine uh, set me up on the phone with a woman named Renee, who is a hospice nurse in Texas and also one of the funniest people I've ever talked to. And she got on the phone with me for an hour and a half, two hours, and we just walked me through her whole experience. And a bunch of people were willing to do that with me. And so I spoke with maybe six or seven women. There was a woman in Vancouver who on the pilot came and spoke with Rude and myself. Um, and she runs a, um, she's the captain of a dragon boat racing team that's all breast cancer survivors and so she I'm not sure I know what dragon boat means dragon boats are boats that look like dragons oh, okay. basically <laughs> yeah it's that and they okay. do uh, they do Instagram live is when you're live on Instagram yes okay so these things I should, I'm asking up more, on okay it. this is incredible yeah but she it's like they row it's like crew basically okay. and it's uh, they do races and um, and so it's all it's a, it's a team of breast cancer survivors and she's kind of their leader and she came and talked to us for a long time and just took us through, took us through her journey also showed us pictures of her reconstruction process mm -hmm. and was just so open and amazing um so yeah i talked to a yeah. bunch of people about it yeah yeah i mean for me the thing i didn't anticipate i knew that um the story dealing with depression, suicide, breast cancer, adultery, all the all the fun topics, oh, uh, the hot <laughs> topics. all those hilarious <laughs> from my half hour day <laughs> topics. I knew that they I hoped that they would resonate with people. Mm -hmm. um, I just didn't anticipate how much. And and now with social media and, and events like this, um, it's just been so rewarding for me to hear from people. Obviously, you were writing to entertain, but then mm -hmm. there's also people who are feeling like they're heard and they're seen, really, because of the show. You must get stuff every day. Well, I wanted to talk about one that you got, yeah. which was really moving, and you share as yeah. much as you're comfortable sharing. Sure. No, one. this was um, a beautiful me, story. Actually, oh my God, so yeah. many text messages right now, you guys. Yeah. I'm just blowing up. Um, so get out of there. That's not DJ. What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, it's, it's fine. It's my fine. mom. It's okay. okay. Um, <laughs> Your mom, uh, who's Jan from the office? <laughs> my other mom. <laughs> your mom, your real mom, who's less like your mom than yes, than my mom has much darker hair. Yes. And nobody believes this. <laughs> uh, so this woman wrote to me on Instagram. Her name is Maggie. Um, she let me know. I think this is back in February. She let me know that um, her name is Maggie. She's 28 years old. She's mm -hmm. been putting off an appointment to go. I guess get a mammogram and when she finally did it after watching our show she discovered that she did have breast cancer and she was just letting me know that today is her first round of cancer uh, round of chemo for cancer and um, just wanted to say hello and yeah. um, you're thinking about you yeah and thank you for sharing and and um, and I'm so glad that the show did something to inspire you to get checked because that was uh, that was really moving, and um, yeah, I get I get messages from a lot of cancer survivors, and I read all of them. And even if I don't reply, I'm thinking about all of them, and and really appreciative that people are sharing with me. Yeah, you know what I someone asked me today. We we're doing interviews for the finale, uh, which airs tonight at nine on ABC. On ABC after an all new Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> Okay. Um, how, how many minutes away is that? Okay, 15 minutes, guys. Start, start. No, don't, no, stay here and watch us. But start take, your I guess they could popcorn. Take us to the popcorn machine, yes. Yeah, Fine. on okay. your phone. Yes. Um, but um, someone asked me today, what, how has the show changed from what you originally set out to write? Oh. And what I was thinking is, I think I set out to write my story. And what I have discovered because of folks like you who are watching this, that we're telling our story like this is our story and i think it's why people are responding you know and it's I think been, so too. It, it is it is really hard to make a show it is really um i work all the time and it is the feedback like that from twitter and from a story like maggie yeah that's you what know? makes it worth it for me too i mean Welcome just Maggie's. going in and knowing i always i sort of have a this is it's, it's a bit of a, like a spiritual practice that I use in 
going to work every day where I just kind of ask to be a vessel for whatever people need mm -hmm. to be given um, in what I'm doing so that it feels like I'm not just like showing up for myself. Mm -hmm. um, and it really feels like that is something that is, is happening just from the responses that we get from people. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, let's keep it funny too. Let's keep it funny too. Hey. What, um, what was your favorite scene of the show this season that you were not in? I don't know if you ever pay attention to those scenes. Of course I do. I don't know. I just love watching uh, Romney and Christina at Rome and Regina together. I yeah. just love their dynamic. They're so funny. What was it? Oh, when uh, when um, Delilah was going to the hospital and they were trying to hide the fact that she was going to the hospital. Oh, earlier. Oh, yeah. Earlier, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm sorry. I can't think of I'm not blowing okay, anything I just made it. Oh, Don't worry. I got you. Right there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no. So this is back. Uh, I don't know what episode, but when they were talking about um, apple cider versus apple uh, juice. juice. Oh, yes, 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 yes. I yes. don't know what the hell they were doing, but it's it juice, was making me laugh cider, yeah. so hard. And yeah. the looks that she kept giving him, like, yeah. I, it was yeah. beautiful. That was really funny. Beautiful that was really, stuff. really funny. Yeah. Um, what was uh, your favorite line? <laughs> favorite line that I had or some anyone yes, had. Yes, improv or otherwise. Oh god. That I can't think of that off the can't top do one of my like head. That. It's hard to do I yeah, I would have to run through. It's so hard for me to pick if I had to pick my favorite scene of, yeah, of Maggie's. Oh yeah. Uh there's so many. I wanna it's know just, what your favorite scene is though of the whole thing. Because you've got to have one. I don't think I can pick one. I think I think there's a couple... I like certain ones for different reasons. So I will say in the pilot, there's no question that the scene with Gary and Maggie in the bathroom, which seems like it's just <laughs> launchy, hook-up, bathroom sex, but then you discover that she's vulnerable yeah, really and sweet. he's cool about it, and then he's even more vulnerable. I think there was... I had never been part of something like that, and there was something about that meet-cute and that... You know, when I, I said to the writers all season that when when you think it's about cancer, it's really about love. Mm. When you think it's about love, it's really about cancer. And so, you know, um, yeah. So that that was a good one. I also uh, really loved, just talking about the Maggie scene, so if the other actors are watching. I thought it was my get, favorite line, too. Oh, go, go for it. My favorite line was when Maggie said to Rome um, the story about... Uh, people and the um the Brooklyn Bridge the, the bridge yeah. and the line um it's not that I don't want to live it's I don't want to live like this and that was something that I just uh, I, I identified with and I feel like that is exactly what the pain is that people are in um so I loved that line yeah yeah you guys delivered it it was beautiful it was Thanks. a really beautiful scene um, what other, what other, uh, oh, comedy wise, I love the two of you getting to fight with those people online. Oh, uh, tree about like the, I just love the cancer. <laughs> getting to do that with Natasha Leggero too. Yes, yes, That's it. You yes. keep bringing in all these people. I'm like, yes, yes like, like Lennon Parham. Parham. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just people like that. Yes. Jay Farrow. And yes, just, Jay and, uh. Sam Pancake? Have you done a scene with I Sam? I haven't had any we... interaction with Sam Pancake. Yeah, so but Sam, I'm a fan Sam of his is too. delightful. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so what other? Ask me a question. See if there's anything here. We have uh, we have eleven minutes. Oh gosh. Okay. Let's yes. see. Yes. Um, um, I'm trying to think. Oh, what's your favorite scene? Well, let's see. How did you How did you sit down and start writing the pilot? Did you have all these characters already oh, fleshed out? No. So. <laughs> uh, I don't even know if I'm supposed to say this, but ah. so when I first was writing this, my my team, my agents and my lawyers said to me, just go write something that you would watch. Oh, like, yeah. Just don't worry about what's going to sell or what's going to happen. Just go write something that you would watch. Mm -hmm. So I sat down and I started writing this and I wrote it as a comedy at first. Because they said, don't worry about it selling. <laughs> <laughs> and um, there was a lot of stuff that was the same here, but in the initial script, which I wrote without an outline, there was a scene where Gary... Um, is at this support group, and I thought it'd be funny to put him, you know, uh, yeah, and I thought it'd be really interesting <laughs> to have him be feeling, um, A, the sort of uh, hookup guy in him would go, oh, this is a great place to, to meet women, but also for him then to be defensive of, I have a right to be here too. Yeah, I thought yeah. that was a funny and fun predicament. It would reveal it Gary's character. Yeah. Well, in doing that, I then found, that, oh, wouldn't it be fun if this day player 
he met someone there and hooked up with in a bathroom, and this would just be a day player, mm -hmm. and we'll have fun with her, and she'll be delightful. Mm -hmm. Then when he came through the church doors, I was like, oh, well, um, wouldn't it be funny if she were there too? Mm -hmm. And then I realized, oh, if she's there too, she's got to go to the reception. Yeah. And when I put her at the reception, I was like, oh, she can deliver this Kennedy speech that I've been sitting on. Thank goodness. And your brain then I was like, oh, going she should be a psychologist. Gary shouldn't know. And they should all tease him for not knowing about her. And then as I was writing that, I said, oh, this, she's not a day player. She is a series regular. She's Allison E. Miller. She's Allison E. Miller. The E stands for. Eggs. Eggs. Yep, yep. That is true, Love actually. Them. There's very. That's one of the clues of tonight. <laughs> Look out for the yes, eggs. Yes, yes, yes. But then in, in writing really the show, I think for me, I, I think we're all not living the version of life that we thought we'd be living. You know, and for yeah. some people it's better, some people it's worse. It's just not what we planned. I said never married. I said no kids. I said I'll never live outside of uh, the East Coast. <laughs> How am I doing? Not good. Not good. <laughs> not good. Um, but um, I thought there's like this show and the idea that each of these friends is not living the version of life that they thought be, they'd be living, and mm -hmm. then their friend's death is this catalyst to make them mm -hmm. make a change. So that was it. And then I actually just it. love that any time something happens that's funny at home, mm -hmm. you can just make it an episode. Like that right there, if you, know, if you pan. Things. This was my kid's Halloween costume, which became part of that episode we did with Theo and the tree. And there's also um, something that's happening in this episode that's oh, airing tonight okay. that was a story that you told me. Oh. Uh, Whose storyline? Oh, dinner. yes. Yes, yes. Story. Well, it'll, it'll, yes, you're talking about the Roman Regina story. Mm -hmm. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. So that is their story. Yeah. Well, I, I feel like a lot of the time you somehow seem to pull things from, I guess the writers are putting yeah. in their own personal stories, yeah. but it's sometimes eerily similar to things that like the actors are going through too. And it's not like we talk to you about these things. I think it's just sort of universal um, experiences. There were a few this year, on some of the funnier episodes and some of the more meaningful episodes that just really resonated. And it was just, you know, I, yeah. I feel, what percentage of you is Maggie. I don't know. It's hard to say. Um, it's, I don't know. It's, it's, there are so many parallels, but I think she kind of exists as a shadow self for mm -hmm. me, which is an interesting thing. I'll just bring this up because it's a weird little sort of Easter egg that I discovered. The painting that hangs in Maggie's apartment that's been there forever with the sort of shrouded mm -hmm. feet, uh, figure. By the door. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, it's by a local Vancouver artist and I, love her and I looked up her stuff and the meaning of that painting was about sort of the shadow self coming out and, and airing itself out in this sort of vi vibrant world in front of everyone and I thought oh my gosh that's Maggie exactly because she has been running away from things um, but now she's having to confront them head on Yeah. and that painting is there it's right there and it just I, I don't know Everything happens for a reason. Yeah, there that you goes go. there. Yeah, there you I go. tried to sell it. With, yeah. Yeah. It works. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, do you feel like you're as optimistic as Maggie? No. Well, I think I like that Maggie's gotten a little less optimistic as she's gone on. But no, I'm a pessimist by okay. nature. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And are you? Um, you certainly are as funny as Maggie. I think you bring that humor. I don't know how. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if. Uh, I don't know if I am. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what makes you so funny. <laughs> um, and, uh, okay, all right. But it, we, we are uh, Who, six Which minutes. character do yes. you most identify with on the show? Who do you think it is? Which character do Colin? I most identify with? Colin. Yes, the dog. <laughs> it is because I'm often uh, upstaging you guys. I scenes. would guess. <laughs> I would guess. Um, Rome? I don't know. Interesting. Yeah. So Just I actually because he's think, a writer. Oh yeah, there's all there's a lot of parallels of what's going on with him. Yeah. There is, I think, a little bit of me in a lot of the characters. That so sense. I think of the optimism of John, you know, the guy in the elevator saying you know, yeah. everything happens for a reason and it's going to be great, all of that stuff. Yeah. I think um, there's the sarcastic side of Gary. I think Gary's a little bit of who I wish I were. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think we all, all wish we were Gary. Gary. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, and then. Did you say we all wish we were Gary, or we all wish you were Gary? We all wish you were Gary. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> we 
No, um, I didn't yeah, say yes, that. Yes. Um, but, and then, I think the one I actually identify the most and the one whose stories have just directly come from me in my life is Catherine. Oh. Yeah, I think there's a part of me that, you know, that the, the scenes that we've done with her where she said I would gladly work till all hours just to be home for dinner and, okay, and yeah. the stuff where, this last episode that aired, with the field trip, that was verbatim. That oh, was that's my right. son. That's exactly. He said that. My, it should have been mom. I'm like, dude, you can't say that. And do you guys do consequences instead? Of he, he, he said exactly that. What's my consequence? God, should I take out the recycling? Thing. And then, then I said that's your consequence. And then later, when I was putting him to bed, I was like, he said, Dad, I'm really sorry. And he apologized again and again. And I said, I'm over it, bud. And I never stopped loving you. That's it so was really funny. sweet. It was like the for, one time I got parenting right. That's that. really, good. really good. Also, yeah. that. Tristan, who plays Theo, oh in God. that scene, was... he cries. I don't understand. He didn't know, like drops. There wasn't drops. No, he was crying. It wasn't even written to cry. No. Like, he was like, "I got this. I got this." Do you know that when we did the pilot, Chance, who plays Danny, oh, so we're in the funeral true. scene. He did this in the in the church, and he said to me, uh, "What are you looking for here?" And I said, "Wait, what?" And he goes like, "One to ten. What are you looking for? How much tears you want? The kid's I'm a like, genius. He's like, oh my god. It's offensive how good he is. I think he's really 60. That's my theory. I think he's he is too. He's, he's a little old he's man. He's got like the voice of an older man. If like, he yes. like unzipped his yes. skin suit, yes. this like old man would he come out. out and it's really the guy <laughs> from like the, the Six Flags commercials is inside of him. <laughs> Not from... You know what I'm talking no, about? I know, but I don't know. The like... Well, everyone else knows. Yeah. I'm, I'm just <laughs> I'm locked in a room writing a show for you, Allison. This, so is, this, is, this is not anything that's important. It. Okay, that's fine. That's fair, that's fair. Any other questions for me? I'm going to see if I have any more for you. Let me think. <clears throat> uh, I want you to be in my life forever, Allison. Well, yes. We'll, uh, see. we'll see what happens. <laughs> yes. We'll, we'll be friends no matter what. No matter what, we will be friends. Yes. Um, so, wow. No spoilers. So, wow. How much time are you? Um, I'll say, uh, once again, you know that I like you. You know that I think your work is excellent. I really respect you, and I respect how much you brought to her. You always showed up knowing the lines. You always showed up knowing the heart. You questioned just the right things. It was just great. Thank it you. It was really great. You, you surprised me every time with how, like, I just when I thought, oh, this is what it's going to be. The scene that's in, there was this, uh, a scene that's in tonight's show that... I called her up, and I called Rodé up, and I said, guys, can you do this? Because I don't have a plan B. Mm-hmm. Um, I sometimes do that, too. Like, when I made you guys vomit in the um, car, and yeah, yeah that like, I was like, hey, here, but um, yeah, it'll be I it. said, I don't have a plan B, and Rodé said, start on my coverage, because I only got four takes in me. That's, <laughs> That's what we did. usually what That's happens. What we did. You guys were brilliant, and it was Thank moving. You. It was just beautiful. Thank yeah, you. It was really beautiful. Thank okay, so the show is called uh, A Million Little Things. Yes, man. yes. It's on... Tonight. I'm in moments. S- ABC. ABC. After um, an all new Grey's Anatomy. All new That's Grey's Anatomy. Hey, thank you all for tuning in, um, and thank you for loving Maggie as much as as I do. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks, you guys.